pentagonal signs indicate a no passing zones b school zones c speed limits d railroad crossings b school zones pentagonal signs indicate that you are in a school zone be extra alert to children and pedestrians when driving near a school double solid yellow lines painted down the middle of the road mean a railroad crossing ahead b pedestrian crossing ahead c passing is not permitted from either direction d passing is permitted from either direction c passing is not permitted from either direction double solid yellow lines in the center of the road mean that passing is not allowed from either direction you may not cross the lines unless you are making a left turn or passing pedestrians bicyclists and riders of scooters or skateboards when the opposite lane is clear and you can pass safely You are coming to a railroad crossing where the crossing signals are flashing. You should a. Stop and look for a train. b. Slow down and look for a train. c. Look for a train, then speed up. d. Do what the vehicle ahead of you does. It is important to slow down. a. On narrow or winding roads. b. At intersections or railroad crossings. C. When the road is wet or slippery. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You should always slow down when driving on narrow or winding roads, near intersections, near railroad crossings, on hills, in sharp or blind curves, where there are pedestrians or driving hazards, and when the roads are wet or slippery. Want to ace you DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. If someone has consumed alcoholic drinks, what will help the person overcome the influence of those drinks? A. Tomato juice and lime. B. Hot coffee. C. Fresh air. D. Only time. D. Only time. Only the passage of time will allow a person to overcome the influence of alcohol. A leaking exhaust system can A. Cause excessive oil use. B. Require your vehicle to have a tune up sooner than normal. C. Make you drowsy while driving. D. Set grass fires on country roads. C. Make you drowsy while driving. The exhaust system helps remove toxic gases, reduce the noise, and cool the hot gases coming from a running engine. Fumes from a leaky exhaust system can cause death in a very short time. They can also make you drowsy while driving. What should you do when you are going to enter a roadway from a private road? A. Blow your horn to warn cars you are entering the roadway. B. Stop with part of your car on the roadway to alert other drivers. C. Drive out fast to merge smoothly with the traffic. D. Yield the right of way to pedestrians and roadway traffic. D. Yield the right of way to pedestrians and roadway traffic. When entering a roadway from a driveway or private road, you must yield the right of way to pedestrians and traffic on the roadway. What should you do when an emergency vehicle is approaching while displaying flashing red or blue lights? A. See if you can reach your destination before the emergency vehicle catches up to you. B. Continue driving but try to stay out of its way. C. Pull over to the side of the road and come to a complete stop. D. Stop in the middle of an intersection.
C. Pull over to the side of the road and come to a complete stop. You must yield the right of way to all emergency vehicles using a siren, air horn, and or flashing red, blue, or white lights. Where possible, you must pull over to the right edge of the road. If you are in an intersection, drive through the intersection before you pull over. You are involved in an accident and your vehicle is blocking traffic. You should a move your vehicle off the traveled portion of the roadway, if possible. b not move your vehicle under any circumstances. c wait until the police arrive before moving your vehicle. D. None of the above. When driving in rain, you must A. Use low beam headlights. B. Use high beam headlights. C. Use parking lights. D. Use no lights. A. Use low beam headlights. In rainy conditions, you should use your low beam headlights. The most effective safety restraints in a traffic crash are a. Only a lap and shoulder belt. b. Only an airbag. c. Both a lap, shoulder belt and an airbag. d. No safety restraints. c. Both a lap, shoulder belt and an airbag. Safety belts can double your chance of surviving a crash and more than double your chance of avoiding serious injury. Airbags, when used properly with safety belts, provide additional protection in a front-end crash. You should wear both shoulder and lap belts. This sign means A. Bicycle crossing. B. Stop. C. Finds double in a work zone. D. Stop ahead. This sign means A. Narrow bridge ahead. B. Lane ends or roadway narrows ahead. C. Industrial area. D. Freeway on ramp ahead. This sign means A. Keep right. B. Low shoulder. C. No parking at any time. D. Lane ends. A. Keep right. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. This regulation sign indicates that drivers should keep right to avoid an upcoming potential driving hazard. At dusk or on overcast days, you should A. Drive using your four-way flashers. B. Drive using your parking lights. C. Not turn on any vehicle lights. D. Turn on your headlights. D. Turn on your headlights. At dusk or on overcast days, you must turn on your headlights. Dim your lights to their low beam setting when within 1,000 feet of an approaching vehicle and when within 500 feet of a vehicle that you are following. When driving in poor weather, always use your low beams. If a vehicle using high beams comes toward you, you should look toward fill in the blank of the road. A. Either side. B. The center. C. The right side. D. The left side. C. The right side. If a vehicle approaching you is using its high beams and fails to dim them, you should glance toward the right side of the road. This will keep you from being blinded by the other vehicle's headlights and will allow you to see well enough to stay on your course until the vehicle passes. This road sign means A. Hunting area. B. State park. C. Deer crossing. D. Wildlife preserve. C. Deer crossing.
This sign warns that deer cross the roadway in the area. You should slow down, be alert, and be ready to stop. The posted speed limit shows a. Only a recommended driving speed. b. The exact speed at which you must travel to avoid a ticket. c. The maximum safe driving speed under ideal road and weather conditions. d. The maximum safe driving speed under all road conditions. c. The maximum safe driving speed under ideal road and weather conditions. A speed limit sign shows the maximum legal driving speed for the stretch of highway where it is posted. Driving safely may require you to travel more slowly than the posted limit. When conditions are less than ideal, drivers should slow down. This sign means A. Railroad crossing B. One-way traffic C. Limited parking. D. Playground ahead. A. Railroad crossing. Circular traffic signs indicate upcoming railroad crossings. This sign tells drivers that they are approaching a railroad crossing and should be looking for signs of an oncoming train. A single broken yellow line down the center of a two-lane road indicates A. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are not permitted to pass. B. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. C. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are not permitted to pass. D. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. B. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. Yellow lines are used to separate traffic moving in opposite directions. Dashed lines indicate that drivers directly next to the line are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. Drivers may not pass from either side of a Fill in the blank centerline. A. Combination solid and broken yellow. B. Single broken yellow. C. Double solid yellow. D. Single broken white. C. Double solid yellow. A double solid yellow line down the center of a two-way road means that it is prohibited for traffic from either direction to cross the center to pass. Large vehicles have blind spots that can extend up to 200 feet directly behind the vehicle. A. True. B. False. A. True. Large vehicles have blind spots that can extend up to 200 feet directly behind the vehicle. Do not tailgate a large vehicle as they will have no way of knowing that you are there. When you see or hear an emergency vehicle coming, you should A. Stop immediately and let the vehicle pass. B. Drive as far toward the right side of the road as is safe and stop. C. Proceed slowly and permit the vehicle to pass. D. Keep moving slowly, staying to the right side of the road. B. Drive as far toward the right side of the road as is safe and stop. When driving on a two-lane roadway or undivided highway, you must yield to an emergency vehicle using its lights and or siren, regardless of the direction from which it is approaching. Immediately drive as near as possible to the right side of the road and stop, taking care not to stop within an intersection. The driver's left arm and hand are extended upward. This hand signal means that the driver plans to A. Turn left. B. Turn right. C. Come to a stop. D. Go straight ahead.
B. Turn right. If a driver's left arm and hand are extended upward, they are indicating that they intend to turn right. Adjust your driving accordingly if following a driver who is using this hand signal. This sign means A. Side road B. Low clearance C. Merging traffic D. Prepare to stop A. Side road Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers to be aware of potential traffic entering from an upcoming side road. Signaling your intentions before turning, changing lanes, or driving away from a curb. A. Is necessary only if other traffic is present. B. Is a good driving habit and is required by law. C. Is necessary only during the maneuver, not before. D. Is not necessary if the maneuver is done slowly. B. Is a good driving habit and is required by law. When changing lanes or turning, signal your intentions well in advance. The law requires that you signal for at least 100 feet before you move your vehicle to the right or left. Before pulling away from a curb, always signal to inform passing drivers of your intentions. When a traffic signal light turns green, you should A. Yield the right of way to pedestrians. B. Accelerate as quickly as possible. C. Back up slowly. D. Not move until another driver waves you on. A. Yield the right of way to pedestrians. A green light tells you that you can go through the intersection. However, you must first yield the right of way to traffic and pedestrians who are still in the intersection. A bicyclist who doesn't obey traffic laws? A. Is in the right because bicyclists don't have to obey traffic laws. B. Can be ticketed. C. Will always receive a warning from law enforcement. D. Will have their bicycle impounded. B. Can be ticketed. All bicyclists have the same rights, duties, and responsibilities as drivers of motor vehicles. Motorists and bicyclists who do not obey traffic laws can be ticketed. This sign means A. Pedestrians only. B. Intersection ahead. C. Hiking trails ahead. D. School crossing ahead. D. School crossing ahead. This sign indicates that a school crossing is ahead. A solid yellow line on your side of the center line means A. Slow down. B. Pass with caution. C. Do not pass. D. Keep right on hills. C. Do not pass. A solid yellow line next to your lane means that passing is not permitted from your direction. Always signal when? A. Changing lanes. B. Pulling into or out of a parking space. C. Pulling into traffic from a parking area or alley. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Your turn signals should always be used when you make any movement to the left or right. You should use your signal when pulling into traffic from a curbside parking space, moving into a new lane, or passing another vehicle. When entering a highway from an entrance ramp, you should generally A. Enter above the speed of traffic to get ahead. B. Enter slowly to avoid other vehicles. C. Stop first, then slowly enter traffic. 
d accelerate to the speed of traffic When approaching a stop sign that is not marked by a crosswalk, drivers should stop their vehicles before entering the intersection. A. True. B. False. The driver's left arm and hand are extended downward. This hand signal means that the driver plans to A. Turn left. B. Turn right. C. Stop. D. Start up. C. Stop. If a driver's left arm and hand are extended downward, they are indicating that they intend to stop. Adjust your driving accordingly if following a driver who is using this hand signal. Yield also means stop if you cannot merge safely into the flow of traffic. A. True. B. False. A. True. In a situation requiring you to yield the right of way, you must also stop if you cannot merge safely into the flow of traffic. You notice a vehicle defect which may affect the safe operation of your vehicle. You should A. Correct the defect as soon as possible. B. Correct the defect when you can afford it. C. Drive the vehicle at slower speeds. D. Drive normally. A. Correct the defect as soon as possible. Any defect that may affect the safe operation of a vehicle should be corrected as soon as possible. Defects should be corrected before the vehicle is driven. A fully loaded tractor trailer traveling at 55 miles per hour could take up to fill in the blank to come to a complete stop. A. 50 feet. B. 125 feet. C. 400 feet. D. 750 feet. C. 400 feet. Tractor trailers take longer distances to stop than smaller cars traveling at the same speed. A fully loaded tractor trailer may take almost 400 feet to come to a complete stop when driving at 55 miles per hour. Alcohol. A. Slows reflexes and reaction time. B. Puts you to sleep. C. Wakes you up. D. Improves your judgment. A. Slows reflexes and reaction time. Alcohol is a depressant drug that slows the activity of the brain and reduces the skills that you need for safe driving. Drinking alcohol results in slowed reaction time and impaired judgment. At a four way stop. A. The driver to arrive first has the right of way. B. The driver to arrive last has the right of way. C. One driver should continue driving without stopping. D. One driver should wave the other drivers ahead. A. The driver to arrive first has the right of way. At four way stops, traffic from all four directions must stop. The first vehicle to reach the intersection should move forward first. If two vehicles reach the intersection at the same time, the driver on the left yields to the driver on the right. Work zone signs mean A. It is summer. B. You must immediately stop and back up. C. Less than ideal conditions are present for driving. D. You should drive faster to get out of the work zone. C. Less than ideal conditions are present for driving. Work zone signs are orange and indicate that some type of work is being performed on or alongside the roadway. Be extremely careful when you see these signs. A stop sign is shaped like a n. A. Rectangle. 
B. Square. C. Circle. D. Octagon. A merging lanes sign means drivers should be prepared to change lanes or allow other traffic to come into their lane. A. True. B. False. Which of the following statements about railroad crossings is true? A. It is against the law to go around lowered gates at a crossing. B. You must stop at a railroad crossing when directed to do so by a flagger. C. Not all railroad crossings are equipped with flashing red signals and gates. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You must stop at a railroad crossing when directed to do so by a flagger, stop sign, or warning devices, such as gates or flashing lights. Not all railroad crossings are equipped with such devices. It is against the law to drive around lowered railroad crossing gates. If conditions are unsafe, you may not leave a child under the age of 8 in a vehicle unattended. A. True. B. False. A. True. Never leave a child under the age of 8 unsupervised in a vehicle if conditions present a significant risk to the health and safety of the child. The child must be supervised by and within the sight of a person at least 12 years old. Traffic signals sometimes display arrows to control turns from specific lanes. A green arrow. A. Is used only on one-way streets. B. Has the same meaning as a circular green traffic light, but traffic must turn in the direction indicated by the arrow. C. Means that you may proceed, but only if the green arrow is accompanied by a circular green light. D. Points the way to an airport. B. Has the same meaning as a circular green traffic light, but traffic must turn in the direction indicated by the arrow. A green arrow has the same meaning as a circular green traffic light, but traffic in the indicated lane must turn in the direction shown by the arrow. When you see this black and yellow sign, it means A. The road to the right is for one-way traffic only. B. That due to upcoming roadwork, there is a detour to the right. C. Slow down because the road ahead changes direction at an extreme angle. D. There is a crossroad to your right. C. Slow down because the road ahead changes direction at an extreme angle. This sign indicates that the road ahead changes direction at an extreme angle, in this case, to the right. Before you reach such an extreme curve, you should slow down as much as you would when making a turn at an intersection. This sign means A. Trucks under 18,000 pounds. Allowed. B. Hill ahead. C. Truck stop ahead. D. No trucks allowed. B. Hill ahead. This sign warns that there is a steep hill ahead. When you want to make a right turn, your car must be A. Near the center of the street. B. Close to the left side of the street. C. Close to the right side of the street. D. Past the center of the intersection when you begin to turn. C. Close to the right side of the street. As you prepare to make a right turn, you should get as far to the right side of the road as possible. Do not cut across lanes of traffic to perform any turn. When approaching a railroad crossing warning sign. A. Be ready to drive faster than the train. B. Be prepared to stop if a train is nearby. C. Look for a way around any lowered gates. 
D. Assume no trains are nearby and continue driving normally. B. Be prepared to stop if a train is nearby. Railroad crossing warning signs are used to warn drivers of the possibility of a train. Drivers should obey all railroad crossing warning signs and never go around barriers or disregard the warning sign. When you are in a line of traffic that is crossing a railroad track that has no signals or gates, a. You have the right of way and do not need to check for trains. B. You may pass slower drivers while crossing the track. C. You need to make sure there is space for your vehicle to get all the way across the tracks without stopping. D. All of the above. C. You need to make sure there is space for your vehicle to get all the way across the tracks without stopping. If you are following another vehicle at a railroad crossing, check to make sure you have enough room to get all the way across before you drive onto the tracks. You should never try to pass another vehicle as you approach or cross a railroad crossing. Always check for trains before crossing any railroad tracks. <laughs>